24 in the morning. The roads are empty though, so this will be a good start to the road trip. Eventually. There's the Ohio River. Goodbye, Illinois. Once we cross this, we will be in Kentucky. Are we in focus? Alrighty, so it has been three days since we have uploaded anything. Um, so we just wanted to say thank you so much for understanding. We have had a really good time just being able to celebrate my grandma with our family. Um, and like we said, I'm here until after Thanksgiving. Peter is driving back to Florida right now. Um, and so we'll keep you updated as he gets there safely. He'll be back with Eve tonight. Me and my mom are watching Violet this morning. So if you hear Greatest Showman or you hear any baby talk, that's them downstairs. But first, I have been meaning to do this for a while because Dapper Day is coming up and I had received dresses from the same company that I worked with in the spring for Dapper Day. Um, it's called Grace Karen and they actually sell their dresses through Amazon. I will not be attending this Dapper Day because I'll be here, an unexpected change in our plans. Um, however, I will definitely be creating Disney bounds and looks and such for future Dapper Days with these dresses. And so, I'm going to show you them. So this one is my favorite dress that I've received from them yet. It is like a whiny color lace dress. It's um, mermaid fit and it has a little flare at the bottom. Very vintage 40s style floral lace, little off the shoulder. Um, again, these, this company, Grace Karen, they actually sell their dresses through Amazon and they're super affordable, which is really nice when you attend, you know, maybe more than one dapper day and you start to spend all this money on the dresses and the accessories and it's just a really nice company to get good quality vintage inspired dresses from but they don't cost you know over a hundred dollars for one dress so this is that one maybe I'll even try them on for you guys but this is this is my favorite one so far really pretty Another thing that's nice about them being affordable is that there's usually multiple days throughout the weekend for Dapper Day. So again, it's nice if you're going to want multiple looks or um, maybe you want to match to the park that you're at a little bit more. It's nice that these don't break your bank. So this is like a classic vintage dress that... Um, really looks good on anybody. It's just got a swing dress. It does have the boat neckline, which is really nice in hot Florida. And I really liked this floral print because it is more like fall and winter with the browns and the dark purple and the blue. Um, so just because, you know, it's hot in Florida doesn't mean that you have to wear, you know, something spring or summery in the winter. They're, this is a really nice print. And then it also comes with this nice black belt. And Grace Karen also offers both black and white crinoline. I had a crinoline that was white from the last Dapper Day that I plan on wearing underneath this. It's comfy and flowy, and so it doesn't, it's not super, super hot or clinging to your body if you're going to be in Florida or even California for Dapper Day. So those are the, the two dresses that they sent me this time around. I really wish that I was able to wear them for Dapper Day this coming um, weekend, but it actually worked out so that I could really plan out future Disney bounds with them. I was thinking maybe an Alice in Wonderland um, flowers, you know, the singing flowers to maybe do with this one. Um, the colors are actually pretty spot on to Anna too from Frozen, so I was thinking if I did like some sort of accessory or hat that could really, you know, bring out more of on a style or maybe a boot instead of a heel. Um, and then this, like, this dress always screamed Mother Gothel to me, so I'll probably end up doing a Disney bound with this one for that. 
Alrighty, so this is the first dress. Nice little mermaid at the bottom, off the shoulder. I really like it. It's a really nice dress, just to like have as like a go-to for even just like a wedding or a special occasion. So cute. Can't you see like gold accessories for Mother Gothel? Alrighty. So here's the second one, and obviously the crinoline would make it much more poofy. But you see what I mean? It would definitely be a nice lettering fit on anybody. And it came with this really nice belt. It actually has like almost like a velvet finish to it. It's very, very, very cute. So thank you, Grace Karen, for sending me these two dresses. Both of their links will be in the description below if you are interested in purchasing these exact dresses or even just scrolling through their page on Amazon. If there's any vintage inspired looks that you might want to buy for yourself, whether it's for Dapper Day or just a new fancy dress. I don't care, I don't care if they call us crazy. Look at this welcome center. We got rocking chairs. We got pamphlets. I'm gonna have to take some of these because, you know, freebies. Oh, love a good Graceland. Love a good Johnny Cash. Wait a minute. This is supposed to be flirty and like, we'll take it. It is awfully windy, but as you can see, I am in Tennessee. I'd like to apologize for the ragged, ragged look I have to myself. I plan on leaving at 2 a.m., and I did, but I woke up at 1.45, so I did not get to do anything that I wanted to do, but look at where I am. Here is I-24 for any Midwestern traveling Southern Americans. I'm in Tennessee, there's the American Tennessee flag. We've got some mountains here. This is the Welcome Center for Tennessee. But it confuses me, and I'll explain why, but I have to first check out the uh, vending in here to see. If there's anything. I got that at, earlier today, and it's garbage. Threw it all away. Ice cream, Coke, Pepsi. You? Ooh, a monster. Mmm, not now, Peter. Not now. I actually think I'm good. I got water, but look at this. Those are weenies and baked beans. So the strange thing about driving, we drive, we haven't explained it before, we drive Interstate 24 to go from, like to go east or west, like we take I-57 down Illinois, straight down south. 24 brings us either east or west, whatever way we're going, to get over to 50, uh, 75, which is in Georgia. But there's this weird part of 24 that like is in Tennessee then it dips down into Georgia and back into Tennessee So I actually just drove through like five minutes worth of Georgia And there was a welcome center into what I call fake Tennessee because in about 20 minutes. I'm gonna be back in Georgia And uh, I'm making killer time. It's about noon o'clock. It's very gloomy It's about 45 degrees. So still very cold. I can see my breath but much more tolerable. RIP our DVC magnet fell off. So, we still got our pass holder, but our DVC fell off. And I said before, I broke off our antenna. But I gotta get back on this and get back on the road. All right, I took a gamble. I meant to text my friends, the Currys who live here, to ask them if at 209, PM if I should take 75 South through downtown Atlanta or if I should take 285 bypass. So the bypass merge looks ridiculously busy. So I'm hoping I gambled correctly. Alright, here we are. I've always like oddly really liked Georgia's skyline. Or Atlanta's skyline, I'm sorry. I've also listened to Greatest Showman four times and now I'm on Hamilton on its second time around. We will find out in just about three minutes here over this hill, I think, as we'll know or not if I made the right or wrong decision. Fingers crossed. And sorry we jumped forward there. I got on the phone with Dom and got distracted, but we 
took the right Campbell with um, not going to the bypass in Atlanta. I did do the bypass just now for Macon, Georgia. So we're actually about 160, I think, ish miles away from, uh, less than that, then to the Florida border. Getting the last bit of gas that this this tank, this fill up should get me all the way to Orlando, plus maybe through the rest of the week. Alrighty, so it is much later in the day now. Um, Peter has made it safely to Florida. He's got about three more hours until he's home. But I am back to watching Violet. Um, Christina's at school, and so is Grant. And my mom had a couple of um, things to pick up at the funeral home. So it's just me and Vivi for a little bit. Hey, she's blurry because she's so tiny. Hey, girl. Are you having a good time? Did you just wake up from your nap? <sighs> it's hard to see. But over there, there's a glimmer of light. That is Cinderella Castle all lit up. Oh, Evie. Hi, Evie. Eve. Hi. Hi, baby. I missed you so much. Oh, you got a little fluff back? Oh, I think you're a little excited, too. I missed you so much. I missed you. I missed you. I missed you. As you can see, a different two-thirds of the Brookhart Project. A different two-thirds of the Brookhart Project is back together. We FaceTimed Sarah. She was so excited to see me. But we're going to get, I'm going to do a little bit of unpacking. But I'm exhausted. Uh, it's about 8, it's about 9 o'clock. I got in at 8.40, which was like amazing time. But I'm going to put on the Santa Claus. And I think just lay down with her, get her some snacks, pet her, give her lots of loves that she needs from me. So thank you guys for all the support and understanding us not posting and just being the wonderful, great people that we love. Um, but we should be back to the to the daily grind. Oh, are you ready? Yeah. Where are we going? What's the process? I'm getting married when I'm married. <laughs> Do you hear my grandmother? You getting married with a hat on? <laughs> there are so many funny like videos that she's just in the background that I didn't even realize like her like 80th birthday, not her 80th birthday, I think it's like her 80, no it must have been her 83rd birthday, we're like singing happy birthday to her and like I blow out the candles and she says something snarky but just like it's funny that the YouTube captured that. These friends are going to bed. What? Are we? We're not going to bed? I'm sleeping where Grant is right now. I guess I have sh I'm actually... You can sleep downstairs with Christina. I might edit the vlog. Will you guys say it's good to be home with me? Yeah. Thanks. Apparently I talk too much. <gasps> Never. In my sleep. So do I. So <laughs> maybe me and Grant should sleep <laughs> It's good to be home. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. <laughs> Believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>